Everybody, this is Dario. Welcome to my channel, Motley Reads. Um, I'm now here in Switzerland uh, in my hotel room. You saw I showed you around in this hotel. I'm a Citizen M Hotel. It's a uh, it's it's a it's a hotel I like quite a lot. Um, it's a Dutch chain. I think they have hotels in uh, not many cities. They have, I know they have it in London. They have it in in New York, in Amsterdam, of course. Uh, I think Shanghai. Hong Kong, you know, not, not too many cities, and it, 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 is, it is kind of, you know, the modern concept hotel. I like these types of hotels, uh, I'm not very much into, you know, these, these uh, uh, classical places with the, with, um, with the bellboys and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the brass and all that kind of stuff. It's not, not my cup of tea. I, I like more, more this. It's, it's more, it's more um, enjoyable, more fun, uh, and the service experience is great as well. So, you know, um, they are not paying me for this. It's just I, I just like the place. <laughs> so um, so I'm here in my hotel room, uh, working, uh, be working in in, in Zurich now. Um, uh, Monday, Tuesday, I'm here until tomorrow, and then I will drive up to Frankfurt. Uh, we'll be in Frankfurt, uh, and then on the Thursday evening, and then I will fly back home to Stockholm. So this is uh, yeah, this is my my work week. Uh, pretty much a normal week uh, in my line of work. So, uh, since it's a Tuesday, and I, I just you know wanted to to do a tag, uh, uh, you know, you have to do it on a tag Tuesday. I thought, okay, let's let's find out now uh, what to do. So I was looking at the at the book tour, but then I saw this. Uh, you know, since nobody is tagging me, I need to need to figure out. Uh, you know they just you know unsolicited uh tag here you know it's, it's kind of you know desperate um, hmm. um but i i found actually uh rose uh of, of uh, scally dunley about the books uh had had a really really great video um uh, with this uh, uh the pie book tag and the pie book tag uh was originated by josh of literary gladiators, so I'm gonna I'm gonna link down below both of their uh, takes on this. So this is a, 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 the Pi book tag, and it's a 15 questions. And I will, you know, kind of uh, I, I watched her take on this and and, and just a half thought of uh, about it. So, so we, we might have some pauses here here while I'm thinking. I don't have any books here to show except of you know the, the ones that I'm that I'm reading. Uh, 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 currently, um, so yeah, just Mrs. Dalloway and the, and the uh, Grave for Boris Davidovich by by Daniel Kitchen and then the work uh, uh, related. Uh, it's getting to yes, negotiating agreements without giving in. It's on on, on negotiation uh, from a Harvard negotiation project. Anyway, so uh, it is it is uh, fifteen um, uh, prompts. So let's uh, jump into it. So. First one, uh, Apple, a work that sings the praises of America. 
this is uh, yeah uh, praises of america lots of you know Amer uh, america liter literature that you read is uh, is you know social criticism of of america in 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 one way or another so, so they're not very very much praises uh, and then I thought of there is actually uh, one work and it's quite similar similar apply as as, as Rose uh, had on this one. Uh, it is a, one of the legendary Swedish uh, books that you know most Swedish people know about uh, or everybody knows it, but you know I don't know how many have read it. It's a, it's actually a series of four books written by uh, Wilhelm Muberg. Um, Wilhelm Muberg is, is, is a Swedish novelist, uh, Nobel laureate, uh, laureate uh, and he wrote a series of, of books uh, about uh, Swedish emigrants to the, the to, to the United States to North America, um, uh, and you know people from Sweden have been emigrating to North America since mid 1850s. Uh, the emigration was was in millions uh, to to to. North America and you know people were escaping uh, uh, oppression from from the authorities uh, uh, poverty uh, famine uh, so you know, can you imagine you know Sweden uh, uh, so but back then it, it back then it was really it was really really poor part of the world so people were escaping from there so he wrote a series of books the first uh, book is called uh, called uh, emigrants second is immigrants Third is uh, uh, builders, and the fourth is the last letter to Sweden, and and this is about the about about a family that that uh, that you know decides to to move move to 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 America and you know the whole journey and you know you, you can hear it in the titles of the books, and and uh, it is very much you know a picture of America as a land of opportunity uh, as as the you know uh, the 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 the, uh, the place. Where, where you know everybody was welcome to build a, a, a happier, better future. Uh, now you know we know that that is fully not not the case. You know Native Americans, African Americans, and so on and so forth. But but you know the the, the, the whole the whole work was written from a from a Swedish perspective and 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 definitely for for a Swedish people of that time and for Swedish audience subsequently that 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 the book was written for is definitely uh, a book that that sings praises of America or book series a fantastic book series very very well written you know I can I can I can warmly uh, recommend uh, that and and I was actually thinking about doing doing a video on, on those four books and talk a bit about about uh, Scandinavian history of, of America uh, that, that's quite interesting topic all right uh, second uh, cherry uh, a work that helped you develop a greater understanding of your country uh, now my country is Sweden uh, that's where I, where I live I'm born and raised in in, in, uh, in Bosnia but but you know it's uh, since since um, 28 years back, I'm living in Sweden, so I consider myself uh, a, a Swede, and that's that's uh, that's my country. Uh, I had to learn about uh, about uh, Sweden, um, and and uh, the there is a work. There is actually again a series of books. It's a series of uh, five books uh, uh, written by by um, uh, Per Anders Fogelström. Uh, and it is uh, a series of books that is called uh, um, A City of My Dreams. And it is a, a history of modern Stockholm written in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in five novels, uh, basically following, following uh, um, a family uh, since uh, from, uh, if I remember right now, I don't have these books here. I th it is uh, beginnings of, of, of uh, 19th century until uh, 1950s. So, so, so how how the whole uh, city uh, of Stockholm grows from this from a, from this uh, 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 dirty uh, 
city where, where industrialization uh, starts and, and people are moving from countryside and, and it is growing and, and, uh, and people are really, really uh, suffering, li living in terrible conditions. Workers are uh, uh, abused by, by by their masters, and then then you know it actually prompts the advent of of, of, of the social democratic party, and and the and the and the any advent of the of the welfare state that is, that Swedes are still uh, living in. So 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 the whole you know the the background of of where Sweden is right now is very very well described uh, in the history of Stockholm uh, in that period in these five novels. So, 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 so that's uh, I learned. I learned quite a lot, and I learned quite a lot about the Swedish mindset and Swedish soul, and and, and about about you know uh, why they are so you know where this this pride of 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 the welfare state or of uh, what they call folk hemet, the home of the people. Uh, that's how the how Swedes call Sweden, the home of the people. Uh, is is you know, but where does that come from? It is very, very well described in this series of five books by Fogelström. Very good. All right. Uh, number three, Blueberry, a beach read you could probably finish on one visit. Now, I I'm not very good at concentrating on beach, so, so it has to be short work. Uh, and, and there is, a, and it actually, it's one work, I, I didn't finish it in one visit to the beach, but I finished it one visit to, to an amusement park where I was, you know, guarding my kids, so I was sitting and reading, is uh, Bonjour Tristesse by François Sagan. Uh, and, uh, you know, th th that's, that's really, really a, a gem, a gem of the book. It's about, about this, uh, this girl that, that is, uh, you know, uh, uh, having, uh, I think it's set in the beginning of sixties. The seventeen years old girl is is uh, having lazy days with with her with her father in a villa on on, on French Riviera, and and you know she's uh, she's reflecting on, on on life on adulthood while you know um, f uh, dad is there with his uh, mistresses and you know they are living this you know this this uh, decadent life. Uh, so, so you know, it's it's uh, it's, it's really really um, a nice book. You know, one modern modern classic. I, I'm sure I'm sure you have come across um, uh, that book um, at some point. All right, number four, Pumpkin, a work that would make for a great November book club read. It has to be. I guess it has to be something. You know, maybe I don't know uh, something spooky, something dark, something. Um, um, for that period of time, uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. That's uh, I think that, that that fits that fits the period, you know, all that darkness and 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 you know mud and uh, and rottening leaves and all that. That kind of feeling, as you you know, it's a bit, it's a bit sca scary. It, it actually, you know, that, that 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 book is probably the only book that that, that scared me uh, quite a lot. Uh, is a uh, Dracula. I think that, that that fits for a November read. Mm -hmm. Okay, number five, Pekin, a writer that has do, that does the best job writing about the American South. Now I haven't read very much about American South to be honest, or from American South. Um, uh, you know, Harper Lee, some work with Har Harper Lee, uh, Toni Morrison, uh, all of that is good. But but is to, to me, uh, American South. Uh, Kind of in a romantic picture of America South is coming from works of Mark Twain, uh, Tom Sawyer, and, and Huckleberry Finn. Uh, that's um, uh, it's it's a good job if 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 you want to write something something that 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 uh, that uh, you know for a kid shows America South in a positive light, adventurous light. That's that's it. Okay, number six, Sweet Potato, a work that responded to something. Uh, it's it's a difficult uh, difficult uh, question. You need to change perspective. It's a good question. You need to change perspective of things. And so now, when I was talking about about uh, uh, Fogelstrom and uh, and uh, and uh, social democracy in in uh, in Sweden and advent of the of the home of the people, uh, I was immediately thinking about a book that responded to oppressions of uh, of uh, uh, of workers of working people. Uh, and it is the the um, Communist Manifesto by uh, Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels. Definitely responded to 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 uh, to uh, a feeling of of uh, 
of uh, of inferiority response responded to 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 uh, abuse uh, of of uh, of uh, people in in a, in a dependent position uh, and in actually and it sparkled uh, sparkled one of the uh, greatest tragedies of the, of human history in my my opinion you know the the, the whole the whole uh, creation of the uh, of a terror state uh, in in former former Soviet Union and 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 a large part of the, of the Eastern Europe. Uh, so 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 yeah, it was you know misguided uh, response, but still very very interesting response and very interesting ideas uh, to to uh, to read and learn now with some distance uh, to things and, and and to see you know where where abuse uh, can lead actually. So uh, number seven, key lime. Uh, a mystery that you would take to read on the beach. I'm not very big on mystery in, in general. Uh, there are very, very few mystery books that I that I pick up and picked up in read. But but there is one author that I really really like. Uh, it's Eric Ambler, uh, the the classic uh, British uh, mystery writer. Uh, and uh, and the uh, a book uh, that it it, it is uh, it is a. Um, uh, nice uh, beach read is the the mask of Demetrius it is from uh, uh, 1913 written 1939 uh, and it's about this guy I think he's, he's, he's a crime novelist that he here that he is on, on a visit in Istanbul in Turkey he hears about uh, from uh, from some Turkish uh, police officer hears about this criminal Demetrius guy whose body is uh, picked up from Bosporus he's dead he died, and then and then then these these uh, uh, writer or journalist he starts uh, 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 mapping, you know, tracing back Demetrius' uh, 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 life uh, in, in the quest to understand, you know, how he ended, where he ended, and then you know, getting more and more entangled in in a, in a, in the criminal networks of of, uh, of Europe of that time, with you know, with with the, with the spies and. Uh, and 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 the drug trade and uh, you know and, and sinking more deeper and deeper into that. That, that, that that's quite uh, that, that was quite a uh, uh, good book uh, the mask of Demetrius by eric ambler all right um number eight boston cream a work you would boston cream the only thing uh, boston cream i think about the about the donut right that's that's what's meant I, i'm not aware of any pie it's called Boston Creek. Maybe it is. I need, I need to let me check it up. But the donut I really like. Okay, anyways. Number eight, Boston Cream. A work you would be up to reading from a non-preferred genre. You know, uh, people that know me, they know I'm not at all um, into into crime uh, fiction, especially detective novels. Um, I, I, I don't I don't like that genre. I, it, it's I've tried to read it. I, I never never really really enjoyed it. Uh, but there is a there is a one one uh, it's not it's not a work per se but it's um, it is a, a writer and his whole body of work that I'm a bit curious of that you know I would really like to try to read it and I will at some point uh, read it it is it is a crime it's it is detective novels actually uh, and it is work by James Elroy uh, and um, I heard a lot about James Elroy he's he's the guy that wrote the uh, LA, LA Confidential and the Black Dahlia and you know I've seen the movies I like the movies but uh, it's I think at some point I'm gonna pick uh, pick that up uh, so yeah okay number nine macaroni macaroni is that the pie uh, a comfort read that can be enjoyed by all audiences Rose had a really good answer. Uh, Three Men in a Boat, uh, one of my favorite books. It's fantastic, uh, fantastic book. Uh, I'm not sure that all audiences would enjoy it. And I'm not seeing really my son reading it, but uh, but uh, but it is it is really you know for for a wide audience a great great book. Three Men in a Boat. Uh, but what I'm thinking about you know that all audiences would enjoy it. Actually, the only thing I think about, and it, it sounds sounds silly, something that you, everybody can relate to and feel, you know, some nostalgia, 
is uh, is Donald Duck. <laughs> you know, Donald Duck uh, 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 comic comic books. I think that you know, I would I would you know, if I if I saw Donald Duck here, I would pick it up and read it and and, and, and like it. Uh, so you know, maybe it's it's a silly silly reply, but you know, any reply is is um, is um, is good when you're doing a tag, right? Right? Okay. Number 10. A work you can see yourself picking up at a shop with a drink. Uh, now, in Sweden, we don't have, you know, shops with that. You, you can't buy, you can't buy spirits uh, in, 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 uh, in shops. There are state-owned monopoly uh, shops where you can buy, uh, you know, the spirits. You can buy wine and beer and so on and so forth. Okay, then it sounds like, you know, some kind of communist dicta uh, dictatorship and it's like why having like that but actually now it's called Sustainable it's a chain a chain of stores they hold this they are world's largest buyer of wine uh, and uh, hence the selection of wine that you can get by, from Sustainable Agate you can't find it anywhere in the world it is enormous normal selection the staff is extremely friendly and knowledgeable and the prices are, you know, Swedish standards or you know, even European standards very low. So, so you can't, you know, really expensive wines. Uh, there, there is no cheaper place to find it than you know, these Swedish state-owned shops. Uh, uh, you know, convenience stores, uh, supermarkets, they sell low alcoholic, low alcohol, you know, beer and so on. So, so I guess that's that's what we can translate into, you know, convenience store supermarkets. And there, a work you can sell. Actually, there is a work I picked up from a, from a, from a shop. No, actually, I got it. Mm, sorry, I'm lying. Uh, uh, I got it as a present uh, from a from a colleague. Uh, but it, it it is widely featured in in in, uh, in uh, convenience stores, and it's Factfulness by Hans Rusling. Uh, he's a Swedish uh, scientist. Uh, he was. He, he died recently, uh, tragically. Um, uh, of, 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 of cancer uh, too early, uh, great mind uh, and his book is it's factfulness and it is uh, about understanding uh, the world through looking at facts through looking at data uh, and he is you know kind of uh, um, uh, busting lots of, myth of myths about, about you know how bad everything is right now everything was much better before now it's everything everything is bad it's actually you know the other way around in you know 99 percent of the cases you're looking at any question you take up you look at the data and see nope it's better now than before so so, so it's a, it is pretty pretty interesting book it's pretty important work uh, and i think i think i read somewhere that you know bill gates actually uh gave away that book to all I don't know uh, college graduates some year a couple of years ago or something like that but it, it, it is yeah. so that, that's that's one book uh, I can pick from a, from a convenience store number 11 pizza a writer that does a great job with long and short works as well as thick and thin books uh, one guy that I think about who is really really good at this is a, is a, a, cre a Bosnian creation writer Miljenko Jergovic. Miljenko Jergovic, uh, he has, you know, my, my favorite uh, collection of short stories is his debut uh, short story collection called Sarajevo Malboro. And, and, and it is about, about uh, the, it's short story set in, in a besieged Sarajevo during, uh, during the war. And, uh, and it is, you know, uh, uh, soulful very very soulful no no novels you get really to 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 a core of a bosnian soul understanding you know different types of people in bosnian society and 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 and, and the stories uh, uh, behind you know uh, who people are and how society works and in and, and that strange you know war setting but yeah and which is writing a lot of lots of short fiction but he's writing also novels and really really good novels uh, both thick and thin so, so he is very, very versatile uh, writer, and if you didn't read Jergovic, I can, I can uh, uh, definitely recommend. Uh, you know, a few of his books. It's, it is really perfect. I really like it. Okay, number twelve, whipped cream, a work that is overwhelmingly in your face with its message. I guess it, it is. You know, uh, 
what is meant with this it's a work that you read that you kind of yeah okay i get it i get, okay I, yes okay now sure, okay again yes i got it already when you told it last time or five times before i i get the message you know you are kind of wasting words so what's new is there something more you want to tell me or is it th this is kind of it was that i get this is how i interpret it and you know one work i immediately think of it's actually one that i'm that i'm right now really not right now it's at home it's all my it's this it's a book it's called lost in math by Safi, sabino hossenfelder i think it's and, and it, it is about the you know current state of of uh, of uh, uh of um research in the in the uh, theoretical physics a, a subtitle of it is the, the title lost the math and then then uh, um, uh, how how uh, physics went astray i think yeah but, but anyways it, it, it is it is about you know how the the scientists uh, physicists uh, are, are now got lost into mathematical formulas in the absence of of experimental possibilities to to, to formulate and to test the theories, they are, you know, doing it theoretically in true math formulas in searching truths in, in mathematics instead of in a, in, a, in a real world. And, you know, basically, okay, this is it. And then you write a so thick book and example after example and deeper and deeper. I, I'm going to make a review on that book. Unfortunately, it, it, it is disappointment. That book I was expecting much more. But, you know, very, very simple message. And, and you know, it is, you know, you are, it is not it's in your face immediately and and it's, it's not you know it's there uh, all the time but you're not getting any nuances to it uh, so to say neither so yeah so so that was one uh, otherwise you know any business book pick any business book it's in your face you understand it like after five seconds and then you think okay why do i need to read 200 pages about this somebody is telling me you know if you don't do this like this then you're an idiot you're gonna your company is going to uh, going to die your competitor are going to kill you and so on and, and of course it's not true there are no silver bullets to anything especially not such a such a complex thing as as, as an enterprise but you know still there, there are lots of these books coming on the market so so this is yeah so this is an example number 13 american a work that does a great job using an allegory um and I guess in terms of allegories, you think immediately of, you know, Animal Farm, uh, and you think about Aesop's fables, uh, and you think about Plato, Republic, the cave. That's, uh, that's a quite, uh, quite uh, uh, good allegory, uh, uh, allegory usage. Um, yeah. Uh, number 14, what is your, oh, now, now we're in food, really, not the books anymore. So, what is your favorite kind of pie? Now, somebody just was talking about pizza pie, uh, and, and that's to, to me, pizza is pizza. Well, what are you talking about by you know, pie? But there is a kind of pie that you would tell me, you know, this is not a pie. Well, what is this? And I would definitely argue it is a pie. There is a specific, you know, Bosnian dish. It's, it's actually, you know, widely spread all over Balkans and even in, in Greece and Turkey. And it's called, it's called uh, 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 burek. Uh, or in 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 um, Turkey, it's called the börek, and that's a kind of a it's a pie. Uh, I call it pie. We call it pie. We say uh, we call it pie. P pita is, is a pie in in in, in Bosnia. So it's made of of of, of this you know uh, thin dough. So so you know, my my mom is doing that. She's making you know like uh, dough like like for pizza, and then she's you know uh, make instead of you know making. Uh, this size pizza she she has it all over the table and it's very very thin and then he she rolls in you know you can roll in minced meat uh, i'm not I'm, I'm, a, I'm a vegetarian so i don't don't eat that but so, so she does you know potatoes for for me or cheese or or or, or spinach or pumpkin so 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 you know you 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 put it there and then you roll and you 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 have it like like a long roll and then you have that roll uh, you make it, uh, you know, you take that long roll and you put it in like in a spiral and then you bake it and then you get like a, like a pie, we call it pie, and it's delicious. So if you, if you live in a, in a larger city, uh, then you should, you should Google uh, Bosnian food uh, or burek. And, and then probably there is a there is some place and and th that serve this and this is really really delicious you should definitely try that that's that's uh, that's my favorite okay number 15 pie day who do you attack p or p day 
Well, I don't, no, 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 not, not me, but Pi, sorry, Pi Day. <laughs> who do you tag? Um, let me see, who should we tag? Uh, I'm gonna tag um, Noah again. I like tagging you, man. Uh, you are doing you are doing good tags. Uh, uh, everybody who reads uh, uh, must uh, must converse. Uh, then I will tag uh, uh, Elizabeth of Bookish North. Uh, Elizabeth is back after 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 a hiatus during uh, during the spring. So so Elizabeth, uh, I would like to see you doing um, this tag uh, and. Uh, Ah, another person that was that was on on a hiatus during the summer, uh, Lukash of Totally Pretentious. You should do this one. So, okay. Thirty minutes. Oh my God! You know, if you are still here, uh, you know, thank you for watching. Uh, and and uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, in, if you have any comments or ideas or or, or, or you know, or, or you want to mock me or whatever, you just leave leave a, leave a comment uh, down below. So that's it. See you. Bye.